Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at problem 18 from the 2021 AMT 12e. It says let z be a complex number satisfying this expression and we're trying to find the value of z plus 6 over z. So what we're going to use in this case is knowledge of the fact that the magnitude of z squared is actually just equal to z times the conjugate of z, which is expressed with z with a bar over it. So we're going to plug in this substitution into our equation so that we can more easily compute it. So from here, we'll see that we have 12 times z, z bar is equal to 2 times z plus 2 times z bar plus 2 plus z squared plus 1 plus z bar squared plus 1 and then plus 31. So now we're going to expand these expressions and we get 12z z bar is equal to 2z z bar plus 4z plus 4z bar plus 8 plus z squared z bar squared plus z squared plus z bar squared plus 2z z bar plus 1 plus 31. So now we can simplify this further and write it as 4 times z plus z bar plus z z bar squared plus z plus z bar squared, which we get from this part, plus 40, which we just combined these terms. So in this problem we just simplified, we took this and turned it into this form, we took these numbers and them in this form, and this got moved here, and then we just summed our constant terms. So from here, we want to try and find z plus z bar and z z bar. So we're going to set them equal to some expressions. Let's let z plus z bar be some variable x and z z bar be some variable y. We have here that 12y is equal to 4x plus y squared plus x squared plus 40. So we can rearrange the terms of this and we'll see that x squared plus 4x plus 40 plus y squared minus 12y. And this is our expression and we know that this is equal to 0. So we can think about this as a quadratic of x. And our roots in this case, or our discriminant, is going to be b squared minus 4ac, which is 4 squared 16 minus 4 times 1 times 40 plus y squared minus 12y. So in order for our solutions to be real, and we know that x and y are real, for these solutions to be real, this discriminant must be greater than or equal to 0. So with that knowledge, we're going to square it, and we'll get that 16 minus 160 minus 4y squared plus 48y is greater than or equal to 0. So now we can simplify and divide by 4, and we get that negative 144 minus 4y squared plus 48y is greater than or equal to 0. Dividing by 4 gives us that negative y squared plus 12y minus 36 is greater than or equal to 0. And we can move this to the other side of our expression to get y squared minus 12y plus 36 is less than or equal to 0. This, you may notice, is just y minus 6 squared is less than or equal to 0. So from here, we know that all squares are greater than or equal to 0. So the only way that this equation has a solution is if y equals 6. That's its only possible value. So now all we have to do is plug in y equals 6 into our initial expression to solve for x. We know that 12 times 6 is equal to 4x plus 36 plus x squared plus 40. Rearranging terms gives us x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 0. And now we can simplify this or factorize it and see that this is x plus 2 squared equals 0, so x clearly must be negative 2. So now we know that z plus z bar is negative 2. And we also must have that z plus 6 over z, because we know that z z bar is equal to y, which was 6, 
z is 6 over z is just equal to z bar. So this is equal to z plus z bar. And because we already found that z plus z bar was negative 2, our answer is just negative 2, which is a. So in this problem, we use the key fact that z, the magnitude of z squared is z times z bar. We made this substitution everywhere, and then we expanded. And then we plugged in our substitutions with z plus z bar and z z bar to see that our only possible solution for z times z bar was 6. And then we used that to solve for our variable x and then found z plus 6 over z through that and got that our answer was negative 2. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe for more math content.